Hi guys, it's Jim Sins down at uh, Caddis Fly today and Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to be tying a Montana intruder and probably a couple other flies today. So follow along and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Today in the vise, to start things out, we've got a 27 millimeter Aquafly shank. And I already did the glue and tying in the wire and all that stuff too to save a little bit of time. Then we're doing this for the wire today. You really can do any color wire because it's just holding the hook primarily. Size four, Aquafly's hook. I really like the micro barb. And it's a good strong hook just in case you do hook into a steelhead while you're out trout spaying with this thing. And then we've got some 10 knot brown wire or brown thread. And we'll get started on this. First thing I'm going to do is take some of this Senyo's laser dub and Sculpin Olive. And I'm going to pull out just a bit, like that much. And then I'm going to kind of align all the fibers and then cut it in half. Because I don't want this little spot on the back to be super long. And then I just pull it in and out of my fingers a lot to kind of misalign that so that it doesn't look like a straight edge that I just cut off. We're going to wrap it slightly around the hook. Take your thread, one, two, three, and take this part of the dubbing, pack it back. One, two, three, that part's done. You just created a, a skirt on the back of the fly. Bring your thread forward. And we're going to take some flash in this one. This is 6933. It's like a speckled gold black thread or black flash. Sorry for the misspeaking. Take a clump of it. I don't know how many, probably 15, 20 of them. I just lay it on there and I tie it in right here. I'll get a couple thread wraps on it and I'll cut off this bulk part because it always gets in the way just like that. Don't need this part. So just lay that off to the side. If you're tying more, you can just grab that and do that for the next one. Open spiral wraps down to get it to right before you get to the end. And then you just want to like tease it a little bit and spread it out just a little bit. Pick all this up and I cut it just beyond the hook, just barely beyond the hook. And then we're going to take, we'll actually take this flash that they, that I had extra left over, even up the tips. We're going to tie this in as the wrap for the body. Just crank it all the way down to right there. Just have these be touching, but not too overlapping. You don't want to build up too much bulk on the body. It just covers up your thread wraps and makes it look prettier. Pull that back and wrap over it a little bit to really secure that in. You can run a bit of super glue down the shake before you do that if you want. I don't. It's pretty rare that I've had a trout rip that up to the point that I was like, oh, I should have super glued that. Next, we're going to take some I stub olive brown and with this we just want a little tiny bit like that and this is 10 knot thread so I'll double up my composite loop untwist and where's my dubbing spinner there it is set that in there Spin it until it looks about like that. You don't want it like a cord. You want it to be kind of like bushy and going everywhere. Just wrap that around like so. I always like to take that one last bare thread and wrap it around that. Spin my bobbin around it a couple times. Really lock that in. Cut that thread off. That's really the only dubbing loop we're going to do. Next, we take this flash of boo, and I don't remember what one this is. And obviously, as you can tell, I made the cardinal mistake of taking it out of his package. I've had it for a while. Grab another clump of this. Might be too many. I want like half of that. It's probably like 15-ish fibers. 
Lay that on my side, get a couple wraps on it. One, two, and pull this over. This is a really nice fly to do some trout spay with. It honestly kind of looks like, if you remember the days of like fishing a blue fox or a panther martin, that's what this does in the water. It's flashy, it's bright, it knocks obnoxious it drives everything nuts tie that in nice you got the random stuff like that just lightly lick your fingers wet the flash and it pulls it out of the way next we're going to take that sculpin olive again which is like i almost call it more brown than olive but it does have a little bit of olive flashes to it you want a little you'll be able to tell you want the top to be more dense than the bottom for sure. The bottom will be the lighter of the dubbing. Split it in half and just three turns, pull it over, one, two, three. And then you can kind of clean that up just a little bit. We'll clean that up better at the end, but now those are locked in and you've got a little top. Flip it over. This one is just their straight up olive in the same laser dub. And a smaller pinch of this stuff you want. It'll help the fly ride correctly if you don't overpack the bottom. Otherwise, it'll want to tip on you and twist in the water. So this one you can kind of see through better. It's a, just a lighter pinch. I wish I could tell you exactly this much, but there's that's all impossible to say. You'll get a feel for them as you tie more and more of them. And same exact drill, tie it in, pull it over. Now we can clean up this head. And this fly really doesn't, once you get the gist of this fly, it doesn't take much to really get it, get a few of these cranked out and get them going. Just kind of smoothing out the head like so. Take my whip finish. And I will seal this with either super glue or UV. Your favorite UV glue works great too. And I'll make it almost bulletproof. As this fly gets fished, stuff gets pulled out, things get beat up, and it fishes better and better as it goes. That's it. That's the Montana Intruder. And it's a great fly to be using right now for trout spay. Done.